what's up, everybody? Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Uh, hey, Bobby, how you doing? Hello, everyone. Welcome cool. back to uh, We Are The Solution. Megan just popped up. Hello, Megan. Hello, so, Bobby. Uh, Hello, welcome. Ryan. How are you doing? Cool. Good, good. Cool. So, um, so yeah, so we uh, had a couple of hiccups uh, over the last couple of days. So, Friday and Monday, we were out of action. So, just apologies to everyone for that. Um, but we, we kept you up with... Um, with it this evening uh and uh we're going to be doing sort of like a combination of the um uh we are the solution and the secular recovery thing so um i just uh, again quickly just want to do the announcement so i have posted the links on the public channels uh so the public channels being the maria uh Ma the maria helper facebook profile the arc facebook page or the maria facebook page and the uh, duty diagnosed youtube channel uh, the links are there. So if you guys want to hop on uh, and participate, you can do that via video and audio. Uh, just click the link and it'll give you instructions on how to do that. We're also broadcasting to the the duty, uh, the, the Mario Cafe, um, private and unsearchable Facebook group. So we're going to be broadcasting for the first 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes on the public channels, and then we'll switch over exclusively to the to the Mario Cafe. Um, Ryan, could you do me a favor and post it over to Anonymous Addiction yeah, and My Truth About AA, as Bobby sees it, private group. And I want the audience, mm -hmm. once once uh, once we post that, I want to make a little announcement. But uh, can you send that over and I'll, I'll prove it. Cool. Okay, let me quickly do that. Share it to a group. Okay, send, Bobby. Cool. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate okay. that. So, um, yeah. So, with that, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it over to you guys. Hey, what what did you guys have in mind in in terms of? I uh, know, oh Bobby, you had something prepared. Hey. Yeah, you know what? Uh, usually on on Mondays, um, we we have we we are the solution. Okay, with with Bobby C, myself, I, I usually host that. And I know on Tuesdays, we, uh, Ryan usually does secular recovery. So I, I thought maybe we could blend in both because I wanted to talk a little bit about smart recovery, a little more about it, and maybe, you know, uh, ask Megan if she's ever heard of smart recovery and talk a little bit about how it originated, how many years ago, and uh, how, how big, it, big it is, you know, throughout mm. the world today, you know, so we could talk about that. Okay, cool. Megan, have you heard of smart recovery before? Mm. Yeah, yeah, quite familiar with it. So, oh, yeah, okay. I think, I think, I think you're onto something, Bobby. I think that sounds like a, a good plan. Um, Because like you say, you know, the Monday night is your, we are the solution. So I'm, I'm really just a guest on your group. Um, Like I said last week, I'm just here to, to learn and to, um, hear your your thoughts and and all of that and yeah thanks for having me oh cool. welcome thanks, Megan. yeah hmm. yeah i'm not seeing it coming up on uh, a anonymous addiction facebook page it, it says post post an anonymous addiction need approval but when i hit it it doesn't go through but it maybe it maybe it automatically went through but okay. i want i want the listeners to make sure they go to anonymous addiction on YouTube, Anonymous Addiction Deprogramming Podcast on Addiction, and please subscribe. So this way, you could you could learn more about what you know what I'm all about as far as uh, the concepts and what I do in the Deprogramming Podcast on YouTube. So check 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 us out over there too. So today, so Ryan Ryan mentions you know on on his uh on his podcast Secular Recovery, but I think. Am I correct in saying when you talk about the secular recovery, you're talking about the the, the not the tradition AA, but the secular AA part of Alcoholics Anonymous? Yeah. So look, I've I've uh, I'm new to the secular recovery thing, so I've I've been um, uh, just sort of like re researching it. It's it's all very new to me, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm not uh, by any means religious, or um, I wouldn't even say spiritual for that for that matter, to be honest, and. Um, uh, you know, that that's why it appeals to me. Like uh, I was looking for something sort of like based on, on um, based less on, on religion and spirituality and sort of more on um, just something a little bit more 
uh, well, secular, I suppose. Yeah. So, Megan, what, what, how, how long ago have you heard about smart recovery, and what, what, what do you know about it today? So over the years, I've, I've, um, you know, I've met uh, clients who are, um, you know, interested in in that um, method of recovery, and I, I, I know that it's a more of a science based. Um, uh, methodology or option, um, uh, if you will. So, you know, not necessarily Christian based or secular based, but more more scientifically um, based. And I, uh, you know, I know that they that, that they offer um, help for individuals and for families and and stuff like that. And uh, in South Africa, so so you would you would direct them because. Am I correct in saying in South Africa, where where you guys live, you know, in your community, is there any smart recovery meetings right there in person? None that I know of. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't say for sure that I know of any actual in person meetings that are that are taking place. But like I say, you know, through this uh, through the journey, you 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 meet people along the way that are that are are, are doing their their own things. You know, so some people I've met are doing. For example, the the Russell Brand twelve steps. Some people are following the um, the Smart Recovery method. Some people are doing the twelve steps. Some people are doing A A N A. So, yeah, I mean, you know, people are, are participating in these in these different um, options. But as far as personal um, in person support groups, they they may be, but I I haven't personally heard of any. Like I agree with Ryan there. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Fine, and you guys? Yeah, good, man. Good, thanks Sorry, for joining. Uh, let Hi, me know Tony. now that you guys are on. How's it, Megan? Oh, uh, cool. Hi, Tony. Looks like we've lost Bobby there. Oh. Um, but, but yeah, Megan, so uh, I haven't heard of any um, smart recovery uh, uh, meetings or anything like that. Like, I, I would agree with you on that. No, yeah, I'm actually checking because, I mean, if there are any, it would be, you know, like, um, nice to know, but yeah, I'm checking here, and as I as we thought, there's not really anything, you know, coming up for any specific um, place or or anything like that. Yeah. 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 So, so, so what, what do you what do you know about it exactly? Because it, it it does sound like something that's that's appealing to me for uh, you know. Um, again, you know, my my stance is I, I, I personally would like to try and avoid the the twelve step sort of methodologies. Um, how 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 do you think it's different to to twelve steps sort of style support groups? So uh, from uh, you know from what I from what I what I've heard well from what I know it's that it's a it's a it's a different or a new approach to addiction recovery and it's um self management um it's more of a self management recovery training and um yeah like I say you know more scientific based. Um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a trans, uh, uh, like a transformation method, moving away from addiction um, and substance abuse and negative behaviors to a life of um, positive self-regard and willingness to change. Um, and I actually quoted that because I wanted to give you the, the, the textbook answer. But okay. um, again, like I say, um, you know, it's, 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 um, it's an alternative is the word yeah. I'm looking for. It's an alternative to AA um, 12 steps. And uh, I think it's, for some people, it may be a more of a practical approach, um, a pro an approach that, you know, that kind of makes um, ma makes more sense to, you know, that, that, that logical, practical way of thinking. Sure. If I can put okay. it that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, I'm sorry. My, that's my understanding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My computer just went down and I just got back. I just got back mm. in. So I, I kind of mm. missed the last couple of minutes of it. So mm. uh, what were you talking about right then, Megan? Well, we were just talking about about smart recovery and and what what we you know, what we kind of um, like our idea of smart recovery. And Ryan also, I think I was I was just saying to Ryan, Bobby, that it's it seems to me that the smart recovery way um, is a lot more practical, a lot more, um, you know, it's it's more of a, a way to um, empower oneself um, with, with practical school, uh, 
tools and skills and um you know working through it logically like that am i am i correct in, in what i'm saying well, you know, yeah. uh, if i could pitch in there i think a lot of 12 steppers would argue that that's what their program really entails as well right yeah, but I don't know if this, you know, the 12 steps is, you know, it's it's 12 steps, it's steps. Mm, mm. Um, you know, the smart recovery, I think that they've got a different way. And Bobby can come in and correct me because, Bobby, yeah. you, you you were saying that you run smart groups. But I, from what I understand, you don't actually follow a, a step-by-step step program. It's more just about practical tools and self-empowerment and, um, you know, uh, L learning about yourself and about tools that can help you with negative behaviors and um, negative addictions and negative thoughts and all of that kind of stuff. Right. So that, so it, no, it's, it's, to me, it's completely, it's so, it's so different than it's completely different. Okay. There's no comparison from Alcoholics Anonymous to, to smart recovery. Mm -hmm. I don't see none whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, here, here, here's the reason why I'll just, point out a couple things now I, I know that when you're talking you must be talking about online meetings so anyone can uh, get maybe go to a zoom meeting online and connect into you know smart recovery they could go to www.smartrecovery.org okay that's www.smartrecovery.org or you could go join a smart recovery group you know like they have smart recovery uh, family and friends or smart recovery uh meetings on facebook and then they post all their zoom uh meetings how to connect to the zoom meetings which they probably have a zoom meeting every day and probably a couple during the day so that's that's the online method which most of us today are, are kind of a lot of us are transitioning from in person to online yeah but today, t today, maybe we could talk about, or in the future, we could talk about uh, someone developing a South Africa, you know, in your community, starting a smart recovery meeting. And actually, this this meeting here, which I kind of uh, been developing for years, we, we are the solution is just a name. Okay, I don't want to even label this. We are the solution as a name because I'm not marketing this. OK, what I'm marketing is the concept of creating your own program eventually after going into all these other avenues, all these other methods or modalities, getting a bunch of stuff. Maybe a year from now, you know, you come out and then you could create your own deal, you know, or or cool. not a couple of months from now. You can create your own deal and then start creating some sub uh, sub alternatives of these other groups because actually smart recovery is a spinoff of rational recovery, which was developed by Jack Triple a uh, 30 something years ago. Okay. So this gentleman, you know, Jack, Jack decided to start rational recovery and he just came because Alcoholics Anonymous just did not work for him. So I would, I would, if you really want to know the history about smart recovery, check out go to youtube and check out jack trump play and and jack's name is spelled uh t r i m p as in paul e y jack trump play just check out rational recovery and his name will come up and it'll give you the history of what this gentleman was creating and it's very, very interesting because it, he started it years ago. And then the board of directors, went, when he started to get a little bigger, uh, people came on to the board. And eventually, after you know six, seven years, the board decided, no, I'm, sp I'm spinning away from rational recovery. And I'm going to smart, start my own thing, which a lot of doctors and professionals got into. And I'm going to start my own thing. And they started to call it Rash, uh, Smart Recovery. So it's a very interesting, very interesting history to it, which kind of helps us understand the history of a lot of different programs. Uh, but Smart Recovery stands for Self-Management and Recovery Training. Okay. So I like that. Self-help, self, self, self -help, 
self-discovery, right? We are the solution. It's kind of like talking about the self, right? Mm. So it stands for self-management and recovery training. And this is a mutual support meeting. And they have four points, four points, building and maintaining motivation. Okay, so they talk a lot about, here, here's the handbook. Okay, the handbook you can get for about $15. And the handbook is kind of like, it's like, it would be like going to a therapist almost because most therapists use cognitive behavioral therapy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Smart Recovery uh, started the uh, REBT, which is Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, which is just rational, logical thinking and emotion. Emotive means uh, emotions. So it deals with our emotions or thinkings, which causes, you know, creates our cravings and, and different types of stuff in our minds. But it has nothing to do with it. It's an abstinent based, abstinent based, but it's abstinent oriented in a sense that it, it, it's willing to change. Okay, so they're 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 actually saying that we are willing to change with the times, which Alcoholics Anonymous I don't see happening, and that's why um, I'm di I'm into all my deprogramming podcasts. Mm -hmm. So it's absent of base. It's not for profit. It's sensible self help program. It's about drinking. Another thing, completely different is it's not just alcohol. Smart recovery is about alcohol, drugs, and process addictions. Process addictions, including what? Gambling, sex, uh, even even social media or uh, overeating. So it, it deals with all aspects of different types of addiction, which is problematic use. Okay. It... Uh, it's not a spinoff of Alcoholics Anonymous. It had nothing to do with Alcoholics Anonymous. As a matter of fact, it's kind of like completely different because people back then, 30-something years ago, over 30-something years ago, seen that there was a need for something different. Mm -hmm. It's not a spinoff of Alcoholics Anonymous, and no one will label. You know, Bobby C is all about no labels, okay, uh, as my other hat uh, last last. Uh, meeting so it, it's no labels you are not called or considered alcoholic or an addict or disease and and they don't consider people powerless this is a very empowering program okay and if you do not believe in religion or spirituality that's that's fine too because they really don't get into it. I, I, i'll just stop there so what do you have a co little comment to say about that uh chris How's it? How's it? How's it, man? How are you doing? Are you well? A little bit late. I don't know. I'm still catching up what you guys were talking about. <laughs> okay. So, Bobby, am I? Um. Sorry, Chris. Are you still? Are you still speaking? No, 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 no. You guys can get I on. A, I, I had a bit of a glitch um, there, um, but I was just going to ask Bobby a question. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Ahead, Bobby, am I correct in in um, you know from from the a bit of knowledge that I have about it is that people kind of form their own, if you want to call it a recovery plan or a plan for themselves, so that they can create um, a more balanced and purposeful life for themselves to find that meaning and to find that joy and to find that empowerment. That's that's obviously grounded in a science based approach. Yes, yes. It's the book. The book is kind of um, it's informational, but it's it, it's it, it's its guide in itself. It's a guide. Mm. OK, but you could skip. You can read some of it. You could you could go to uh, some other tool because like you mentioned, there's tools and strategies. Mm. Mm. So there, there's practical things that you do, just like when you guys are doing your workshops, like mm. Ryan or, or yourself or, mm. or uh, Lario, when you do your workshops, the, this book has each page or each like couple pages have different, like the deads, 
it's called the deads. I don't really like the word deads, but mm. it's, you know, just let's say defeat urges with deads. Okay. So it has a practical uh, use, say the D would stand for denial or delay. Now I, don't, I won't get into how deep it is, but, and it's really not deep. It's actually very simplistic, very understandable and very, logical and, and very <laughs> rational so it's like mm. it, it, the e stands for escape escape the trigger avoid the trigger attack the urge accept the urge distract yourself with an activity mm. uh substitute uh for addictive thinking so it's like they have all these little acronym acronyms uh, mm. that that you can use and then they have a lot of little workshop booklets uh booklets mm. where you where you write and you design your own and create your own but it's it's one page after another is practical use and and the three the three parts is like the first stages of it is building and maintaining motivation so it's mm. like it's staying on track it's like being in the rehab almost like you're not in a rehab it's like it's like coming here it's like coming to my rehab cafe okay mm -hmm. uh we're learning all these different tools and strategies and getting a lot of different information so actually what with this my rehab cafe is is actually we're all learning eventually a after after we get the initial uh rewiring or reprogramming constantly you know in rehab and then come out and and kind of surround ourselves with these communities of recovery eventually we go on and we exit okay because smart recovery bl believes in an exit strategy it doesn't believe in a lifelong disease concept and it doesn't believe in the disease concept whatsoever so it has building and maintaining motivation coping with urges managing thoughts feelings and behaviors and a life ba uh, a, to live a life balance uh, balanced life you know so it has kind of a, a process of building and maintaining and learning and educating where you could just eventually you can work these things with anything like Brian Brian said he wanted to kind of try to stop smoking and, and he can use this book exactly the same way someone would use it for cocaine opioids alcohol or gambling or smoking so mm. it's, it's kind of it can be used in all those different uh addictions which i i kind of think is really kind of interesting and cool tony do you have any comments on this or, or um any views or any questions or thoughts <coughs> uh firstly where do we uh, us South africans get our hands on a book like that well, you would just go to uh, uh, um, Amazon. You could get it on Amazon. Or you could go to, uh, Tony, you could go to www.smartrecovery.org. And every imaginable way of even starting a group, getting involved, uh, it gives you the list of meetings. There may be one, there, there may be a new meeting uh, down the street from you and you don't know yet because you haven't checked it out on the website, okay? Or how to create your own meeting, okay? And, and you know, I'll get into eventually uh, in other podcasts, I'll get into why I believe eventually we'll be creating our own programs no matter where we go, okay? Mm. So, so we don't have to kind of get into a hierarchy and a kind of like a, a fanatic way of believing anything because I don't, you know, I don't believe that I should stay in the smart recovery for years either. You know, I don't believe uh, someone should stay into any really mortality for years. I believe we should seek other avenues. So we expand and co uh, consciously come to different awarenesses and eventually we, we, we rewire everything in our brains that were lies. It's not like we're just rewiring something uh, from addiction because that was a lie. We're going to rewire our brains of society, you know, and governments and, and Hollywood and, and, you know, a bunch of stuff. So it's, it's, about, it's about a transformation. It's, it's actually like almost like a revolutionary transformation of uh, of our psyche you know mm. that may sound kind of deep but that's you know that's where this thing's going to go eventually 
I think it sounds. I think that sounds interesting here. Yeah. Interesting yeah. thing is that most of these things are non-profit, but it, it sounds like a pissing competition between Alcoholic Anonymous, uh, uh, Smart Recovery, This Recovery, That Recovery. Um, I just believe uh, whatever works for the individual, um, that individual should follow. And I hear what you guys are saying in the uh, future going forward. Uh, and 100% Bobby, Alcoholic Anonymous is a little bit old and overrated. Uh, and it can be done in a different way, and it should be done in a different way because uh, I don't want to be an alcoholic for the rest of my life. I want to be Tony, the human being from Earth that just doesn't drink. Other <laughs> people don't. Uh, sure. Other people don't eat uh, lamb. They vegetarian. Um, I don't want to be labelled for the rest of my life, but I also want to be able to manage it that I don't want to drink. I'm at that point. Uh, I'm still at that point. I, I would love to have a beer and a tequila. Um, that's why I've got to work the steps and the program and what I've learned at all. Um, but I want to get to that point that I don't want to have that drink. And it's not even a thought, uh, that I have. I, you know, Tony, I, uh, uh, I think, um, and this is a thing that, you know, that I want to say about the smart recovery thing it, that does definitely sound like, um, it gives a lot of practical solutions and practical, uh, options in terms of how to deal with cravings and um, sort of uh, in terms of how one could be in in recovery, uh, especially in the early days, right? Um, but like you say, you know, it, 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 it doesn't necessarily sound like a like a modality that you could really use eight, eight, 10, 15 years down the line. Do you know what I mean? Um, uh, Bobby, I know you're saying you, there's, there's, there needs to be an exit strategy um, so that you're not sort of like directly engaged, you know, at every turn and having to go to like 500 meetings a week or whatever it is or or four meetings a week and, and uh, you know, um, all of those kinds of things. But um, Okay, so, okay, yeah, like, you know what, that's that's beautiful. What you just said is, is, is that's it, okay? And, and smart recovery has an exit strategy in the sense that yes you will grow you will grow into this or out of it or it will be incorporated into your psyche after look i'm going to tell the audience and everybody right now what would i what we are doing this second what are, what we are doing this moment is we are if you want to use the word recovery, we're we're doing it right now, okay? Mm. So ha, has let me ask you: do do you think that Bobby C has exited out of life of learning? Okay, do you actually think that I'm going to stop growing and, and stop expanding my knowledge, my information, and my reality, and and my consciousness, and and bringing sub subconscious up to the conscious, and and making my unconscious con? No, I'm not. OK, is is that is this like a burden on me? No, I enjoy it. This to me, I enjoy it. This is kind of like a purpose in life is to find out what life's all about. Why well, I'm look, enjoying it. You know, my, my, my thing with with, um, you know, and, and Tony mentioned the pissing contest with AA and and, and uh, the different programs. Um, I, don't, I don't you know, I, I, I don't know if it's really a pissing contest, but it's a. Uh, it's, we're most certainly looking for, and I know that's true for me, uh, most certainly looking for alternatives uh, uh, to the AA or the NA way of life, right? Because, um, it, 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 you know, especially after a number, let's say if, if, if somebody stays sober for a number of years um, and they relapse after a number of years and they're engaged in a 12-step process, right? That, that sort of, you know, all of the indoctrination that comes with the 12-step sort of ideology, um, really convinces a person that, and, and and never mind the person, but the people around them and all the rest of it, that, you know, if that relapse happens after a substantial amount of pe uh, clean time, that it's going to, it's, it's going to turn into a full blown sort of like sell my house for crack kind of scenario. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I don't necessarily believe that that's really uh, uh, true. I, I don't necessarily believe a relapse has to turn into um, some kind of like monstrosity, do you know what I mean? And I, but I think the the way that that the, the, the 
you know, the 12 step fellowship sort of um, punts their ideology kind of like, like, and, and, and what forms part of our ideology that really makes that uh, an outcome. If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense. Yeah. It's, con it's just control through fear. It's control through fear. Yeah. Okay. Fear of death. Okay, who wants to die? Well, you know, who wants to, you know, cool. look, first of all, it, per it perpetrates it like the more war stories you hear, the more it's, it's in your psyche. You know what I mean? It's it's the uh, it's the more crisis. So the more the bigger the war story, the, the bigger the story that that becomes the persona. Like I, I, Tony was mentioning, he don't want to be labeled. That's see, in Alcoholics Anonymous, it, it can become your identity it becomes your well, persona in, 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 in AA you know if, if, if somebody sort of from AA or, or, or NA for example um, had heard that and they and they've, they've got some experience and in in background in, in, in that ideology if they had heard that comment Tony they would be like hey that's like a very very dangerous thing to say and, and uh, you know in a lot of ways it could be a dangerous thing to to sort of say and think I suppose Um but I don't think it has to be, you know, I don't think it has to be that way. Megan? Uh, hey, for, first, let me just say this here. And in, in, uh, in smart recovery or a lot of the alternative. I'm not, look, today we're just talking about smart recovery. I'm not promoting. I'm not here trying to promote smart recovery. I'm actually here to promote we are the solution because eventually, I don't care if you're going to a smart recovery meeting or AA, NA, CA, uh, uh, secular recovery. I don't care where you're going. I'm just I'm trying to point out to the individual that they are doing it. They are so, responsible. Sorry, it's it's, so it's like, so, like to, so like we so in other words, we're all we're all technically vegans, but we're just arguing about the the best sort of way to be a vegan at <laughs> as an analogy, right? Yeah, but no, no, because we're not. First of all, we're not arguing about any of this stuff. Okay, we're 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 this is the whole. Uh, this this the, my my rehab cafe is is the, is is like the beginning of it all because look sure. look we're not saying it go to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings go there but go to a smart recovery meeting also okay or yeah. go to a meditation meeting also or go to yeah. some other thing yeah. also so why would someone want to be stuck? in one place with one modality and kind of uh, hindering this this progress of expansion, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not telling anybody not to go to Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. I'm just giving some information out, okay? So uh, in a sense that there's no uh, pissing contest going on anywhere here. Mm -hmm. Not, 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 not. I'm just giving some facts out after 30 years. Look, let's let's face it. I was in Alcoholics Anonymous for 30 years. I may know a little more about Alcoholics Anonymous than somebody that's been there for a week or f five years. Okay, sure. that could that could be. A, I would think that would be a possibility. I mean, who wants to go? Who wants to go to kindergarten without going into first grade or second grade? Don't you want to expand? That's why we go into first, second, tenth, eleventh, and go to college. Mm. Bobby, I just want to jump in here, um, and I've been to a couple of AA meetings now, and please, this is an analogy, not an insult. Uh, my <coughs> old MD used to say, you know, it, people would come to me and say, I've got 10 years service, in actual fact, they've got one year service and another nine years of doing the same thing, and that's the feeling I'm getting from AA at the moment. I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. Um, I've had one meeting that I really enjoyed and the rest are very monotonous. And that's the part that uh, scares me as a person because I get bored very quickly. And hearing uh, everybody's got their own story, but they all ultimately boil down to you fucked up, you got to a point, you got to recovery, now you listen to everybody's stories. And I don't believe listen to all these stories is really helping me in my recovery so so i want to i want to answer that one quick um and then after that i want to hand it over to chris because i think chris you might have something 
that you want to add to that. Before we do that, guys, uh, we've actually gone over time on the public channel, so I'm just going to switch over to the private channels. Um, if anybody wants to know, so we're going exclusively over to the Mariab Cafe. That's where the action happens. Um, and we, I think we just got this, uh, this live video going um, right now. So if you're interested in, in participating and seeing what we discussed, then please uh, go to www.mariab.com or mariabcafe.com or mariabcafe.co.za. So with that, I'm going to switch over, guys, if you could just give me a quick minute. Uh, can I ask everybody just to mute? Okay, wait, let me do it. I'll mute the microphone. It's cool. 